Next match. The yes. men's Royal Rumble match. All right. So that's going to be interesting. So first and foremost, what do you think are going to be, be the surprises? Like two or three of them. Now, you don't have to go over everything because that, that'll take forever. Hurricane. Hurricane Helms? No, Stand back. There's a hurricane. Uh, I think one of them will be the Great Muda. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Tatanka? No, no. Oh, uh, Jay White. Is it Jay White? Jay White. Yeah, I think Jay White would be. That would be my favorite pick, because of all the New Japan guys, I think he's the most adept to go to WWE. If that was the case, <coughs> I just and, don't think uh, he has the. Do I don't think he has the, the the following for it. If he's gonna show up, it'll be. That at doesn't NXT. matter. But remember, WWE doesn't want a following. They just want a guy that they can mold into whatever they do because remember whenever but, somebody brings brings uh the only time that i've ever seen anything like that was aj styles yeah, other AJ. than that and samoa joe and slate. samoa joe they just want a blank and slate joe, yeah, but, yeah but even no. samoa joe they still sent him to nxt yeah joe was still at nxt they yeah. still sent him to nxt yeah. aj oh, Styles is yeah, the only yeah, guy yeah, that yeah. i've seen them the, that actually like, got called right, up right away exactly like, yeah. Exactly. That that it was how it should have been. Yeah, but uh, a, but, but AJ was special, dude. AJ had been doing it at Impact. He did it at ROH, and then he did it at NJPW. So when yeah, they, so, so when he so came up, Joe, they were expe- like, hey, except like, for Japan. Yeah, but Joe did the same thing, except for Japan. Because in ROH, you could arguably say that yeah, but Joe, Joe was better in ROH than than uh, AJ Styles was. Yeah, but I don't mean any offense because I'm fat too. But like Joe is fat. Plus he's a big <laughs> he's a big meaty man. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying though, like Joe's fat, like they Vince didn't don't, like him. They don't care. Yeah, but AJ's that. tiny. I mean, AJ's like, 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 like let's, let's, he's not fucking four eleven. Well, he's five one, five one. He's just so he's, he's a little ways. bit and taller has, than you, I bro. And he has Pantene here too. Oh my god, it's more like his go, his beard. His beard is still back in the nineties, bro. But anyways, yeah. have a speedy recovery, there, though. though. Um. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't think I don't think AJ Styles is going to be there because he got hurt obviously and Oh no. They, he broke you, you He broke his ankle. Report, reported here first from the El Sampter podcast. JJ at the event. Hands I I I view of AJ being hurt. What was what what happened to AJ? With that again? phone. With that phone. Hey, <laughs> even the Meltzer gave him his credit. You know what I'm saying? Thank so you. please let us know Thank what you. happened to AJ that night. Uh, JJ, please let that me know what happened. Exactly. That man ended up going over the third rope. The way that he ended up, go- whenever he went over the third rope, he didn't hold on too well. And bro, that man literally did a backflip off the th- like, like going back on the third rope. And then whenever he landed, that's whenever that shit just said, "boink." So he, he the- broke it. Got yeah, he broke it. He Got broke his, his, his ankle. Shit. And then oh, yeah, uh, he, he, he's and then they too. had it's, to they had to cut the match short. Like it was like out of nowhere, just sh- uh, cut it. So yeah, that's the X sign probably. Yeah, and that's it. Yep. Yeah, that that was that was bad. But uh, but yeah, but but anyways, he's not gonna be there. Uh, you know, am I, am I think. Uh, oh god, what's his name? The some uh, the uh, the 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 big dude. Oh, the uh, big, Jacob Fatu. Yeah. I would no, 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 not Fatu. I don't think he's going to be there. That's too much the of a... Street champ? Not, but I would love him. I would, no. No, the you other guy Jacob, that... Jacob Fatu is? The other guy that was... Um, the WWE was looking at, the big tall dude, 6'8". Oh, uh, Hikuleo. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> Hikuleo? I ain't never seen this guy. Yeah, yeah he's he looks a... looks like a big-ass Haku's Samoan. son. Haku's son. He's like 6'8". Hikule. Yeah, he's in Ew. New Japan. Let me see. He was from the. He was from the. Um, oh, okay, I see. From, is it from? Um, nah, Tonga. Tonga. Yeah, Tonga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Tamatonga. Tamatonga, be a great dude. Agent. Isn't he still Oof. at NJPW though? Yeah, but he just don't tell me he wouldn't be awesome, bro. Oh, that'd be dope, man. Amazing, because he can cut a promo too. Yeah, dude, he cuts great promos in Japan, bro. If we could get, if we could get both of them to come over, how fucking dope would that be? A part of the bloodline. Oof. Yo, the bloodline will be unstoppable at that point. Oh, just give him like all the belts. And Jacob, <laughs> like, <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jacob Fatu. Jacob Fatu. Just give him all I the think belts. Jacob Tomatonga. Yeah. Yo, Tama, who do you mean? Like Tomatonga and Tongalaya? Yep. God. God. Camacho. <laughs> God. Dude, yeah, imagine imagine game, the bloodline. I know, dude. That shit. Great game. Great fucking gimmick. Yeah. And the logo and everything. I don't know, man. I mean, I could. I, I would look personally. I would love to see Jay White there. I think I just don't. I just don't see it, man. I just. I just don't see it. 
personally, like I just don't see what he would do there with the current stars that they have. It just for me, it just wouldn't make sense. I think he is. I think he has a, a good enough relationship at this point with Tony Khan, and I'm sure he's gonna go to AEW. Money talks, but he he's kind of well, like still, in Tony the same Khan's boat. Tony Khan's got more money than Vince, anyways. So, yeah, Chad Khan's got more money than Vince. Well, does, but like, I, I think at this point, he kind of knows. I, I think he feels like Adam Cole. Like Adam Cole kind of like, well, dude, I kind of my 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 future there is only gonna be so far because I'm sure he's not the best looking dude. I think Jay White's going to go to AEW. Um, I do want to see some surprises, and I'm glad that we've only gotten 15 announcements, de- declarations at this point. Um, so we got at least another 15 surprises. And did Kofi declare already? Yeah, Dang. so here, look, I have the I think your list. boy is going to be there, Javi. So we got cool. Cody, okay. Kofi, Ricochet, Bobby Lashley, Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, which Austin Theory, she should honestly, he shouldn't be there if he's. He a shouldn't be already, there because right? he's a champion. Yeah, though. Gunther, Gunther, same thing. I think those two should be. Well, out. but they're going for the big title too. Yeah, but you already have a title. Like it doesn't yeah, make but sense. Still, I mean, mm. yeah, it does make sense. It, it, uh, it does make sense because remember, you're going from a secondary. Who's title next? Title, if that's the case, uh, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, almost Ron's should not be there, but we need a giant spot, and then Braun. So both of them will probably take <sighs> each other out. You got Baron I'd Corbin. Have well, oh, both of them of will take each other out. Watch. Is Bray Wyatt going to be there? A WrestleMania match. I don't think uh, so. It does not have him here. Baron Corbin, Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio, and Karrion Cross. Santos Escobar. I'd like him to make it to the end. I don't want him to win, but I would like him to make it to the, to the end. So we start, we're still talking about surprises, but we also need to pick our last four because those are usually Wait, surprise, Zach important. Woo-woo-woo. Baby. Ooh, but he's gonna be there. Woo woo woo. Yeah. It, it, but it's Zach, gonna be Zach Ryder gonna be or Matt Cardona? He's gonna be there. Matt Cardona. Zach Ryder. Matt, Zach, Zach Ryder? Ryder. Nah. Zach Ryder. If he goes back at the fucking Why woo, would they woo, do woo. that? Why would WWE do that? They want him to be under Zach Ryder. Yeah, Absolutely. but then he doesn't have the edge. But he doesn't have the edge. But he doesn't have the edge it as Matt matter. Cardona. What edge is he gonna have? It doesn't matter if he's Matt Cardona or whatever the hell he is. Nah. He's still not gonna have no edge. He's gonna be eliminated in like thirty seconds. Well, I think he. I think they just said as well that he got the trademark for Zack Ryder. He picked it up. Oh, I think he just good. trademarked so it. I mean, it may actually have to be Matt Cardona if that's the case. <laughs> it might be. I don't know, man. Uh, any other surprises you guys think? Biggie. Uh, oh, well, less. Well, they oh well, I guess they could be throwing this off the scent, but yeah, I, c- I could see that. Yeah, because Kofi be. just recently was on the Peter Rosenberg podcast, and he said mm-hmm. I guess the bone wasn't growing on its own, so they were gonna go back in March to do more exams. I mean, he could be faking this out, but I don't. I think. feel so bad for for uh, for Biggie man. That sucked, bro. That yeah, it does. Yeah, fuck that one guy. What's his name? <laughs> Wasn't it Matt? Ke- oh, no, not Matt Campbell. Wasn't it uh, Ridge Holland? Yeah, Ridge oh, Holland. Fuck that guy. Ridge Holland, yeah. You know why? I Biggie's not gonna be in it because if if he's not gonna win, there's no point in him being in it. Why not? For them to do him dirty again. Yeah, for him to do him dirty again. Yeah, no, nah, he's not. He's not winning it. He, he's not. He's not gonna, gonna be dirty back. Regardless. He's not gonna be back. He's not gonna be back. Edge, Edge, come back. Please no. Keep him away. Why? But, who, but in the end of the huh? why. Cause the, I don't want it because the that. man that's like 42, go. bro. He already but had his last spot. Rumble. I think this is his last round. I think this is last I think year. This, will be this last is last round. year, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Man. him and Beck, um, Beth Phoenix are gonna be there, yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want I don't want him, yeah, yeah, <laughs> dummy, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, shout out LA Knight. All right, so Maybe who LA Knight wins it? <laughs> who are okay, you really quick, what are your opinions on Cody being announced? That was whack. They just ruined the okay. whole element of surprise. Mm, yes and no. I, I kind of agree with you because at first I was like, why did they say that? But now that means if Cody was supposed to be the big surprise and he's not, who's going to be the big surprise then? The Rock. That means there's something there. And remember, I remember Vince, and it makes sense. He makes, he puts uh, the big names up front so you know who's going to be there so you buy the damn ticket. But so guess what? It is Cody. Like, yes, you do have some surprises, but you rarely have a surprise that's actually a thing. 
But I make this yeah, argument. Yeah, Batista. That was it. Yeah, but we can make the argument like we were talking before about Mania. The ticket for, I mean, Royal Rumble, before they announced Cody, was already probably sold out. That stadium was fucking jam-packed. I think they had already came out and said that that was like one of their biggest gates. So I don't think they needed to announce Cody. We all knew he was going to be there. But the fact that like he comes up, we're getting all the promos. So, would okay, more- I make this. It would have been more surprising if he would have won without him coming out than if I he wins. So that was too predictable. I think back. that's too predictable. I who, think hey. that's too predictable. In fact, I don't even think he's going to win. Who comes out first? Hold on. Before we get that, before we get that, who comes out first? Who's number one and two? One and two, and who comes out 30? Ricochet and Kofi. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be there for like 50 minutes and lose. For real. But um, let's see. Um, the first two. Mm-hmm. I know it'll be. Uh, I do see Hecoy. Ricochet there. I, I do see Ricochet there. No, I don't see Santos yet. He's a heel. Exactly. Dolph Ziggler, what? Dolph Ziggler, bro, or something like that. Somebody that could that could stay there for a long time. He's gonna be there half an hour later. Dolph Ziggler's still gonna be in the damn ring, and you're like, why is he there? You know who's gonna be Nobody there? Notice he was solo. Oh, he's gonna be. He's He'll gonna be in it. I'm sure Probably he'll be three in quarters, it. three quarters to the yeah. through the match. So I think it'll be number one Drew, and number two Cody. Number two Cody. And I'll tell you if why. He's win it, yes. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. Yeah, I'll tell you why. They won't do number one because Edge just won two years ago at number one, so yeah. they're gonna they won't do that again. I think they're gonna give him his entrance. So number two, and uh, I don't think he's gonna win it. I don't no. think he's gonna win it, but there's he's one of the two. He's one of the two so only ones that can win option? the rumble. Sammy, hmm. Sammy winning the rumble, and the the issue here is the fact that work too. yeah, the issue here is the fact that either one they're gonna give us Cody winning, and I think they're gonna there's a slight chance that the fans may turn because they're kind of the the Roman argument of them feeding him, shoving him down our throats. And then having the Daniel Bryan moment where we all wanted Daniel Bryan there. Sammy. Right? And then Sammy not fucking winning. And then everybody turns on Cody. So, but I don't, they have. The, the only thing that I agree to disagree with that, because the only thing is I don't see, like, I get on, I get on Twitter every day and I don't see anybody thinking that uh, Sammy's going to win. Dude, you know what? Forget about Twitter, because Twitter, we know there's a bunch of idiots on Twitter. Too. Yes, but keep so we can't really, we no, can't no, no, really no, no, the same no, way. No, we have don't be talking about my boy Mark. Don't be talking about my boy Mark. I know, but yeah, keep exactly. in mind, keep in mind that Sami Zayn, he has never been a a. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna. Who was I'm hotter just, than him? Hold on, no, Who no, was no, hotter no, than no, him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna ask you this. I'm just gonna ask you this. Sami Zayn wins. Right. We go to WrestleMania. Yep. Is he going to be Roman Reigns? And is he going to carry the company? Yeah, but okay, it doesn't so, matter about carrying the company. It just matters about that one WrestleMania moment. Well, I made about, yeah. Somebody else could beat him. Somebody else could beat him next month. It could be Drew. It could be anybody uh, else. I made, yeah, I made, you're, I made the you're, argument. You're thinking about the, no, 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 you're I thinking just, about the I, Hulk Hogan. You're thinking uh, about the Hulk Hogan, the Stone Cold, the Rocks. There's been a bunch of other champions in the middle that have not been the guy do you see sammy holding the title for more than five minutes nobody's Hold on. Yeah, nobody no, 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 saw no, no. daniel bryan doing that either yeah. Yeah. So, a lot okay. of people saw it. daniel daniel bryan winning the title but before that before that when every was single team hell time no, bro and team hell no bro no everybody no, knew exactly. that everybody knew that daniel bryan was going to be a star bro if, if, if you didn't know, know that, be the, if you're not the champion, not the champion. Stupid. Maybe yeah. nice. So okay, hold no, on. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> you need an He was literally the biggest the baby is, face in the company. He was. I'm what do you mean that he wasn't going to have the champion? I'm talking about before that. I'm talking Ooh. about before that. It doesn't that. make any sense, bro. Okay, you're, you're so I don't think it does make sense. You're going way. You're staying way into the '90s wrestling because that's where Sammy is right now. He's where Daniel Bryan is in the middle of his WWE run. This is the Sami Zayn moment. Okay, look. This he is when might he not levels up. This I, is when he makes it to the next level. Look, I think based on storytelling, Sammy wins. Do I think he carries the title for a long time? No, I don't think so. But it's all ab- it's all about the moment at the end of the day. We didn't expect uh, Stone Cold and KO to give us a great match, but the moment was fantastic, right? All we need is for that 
correlation, the crowning of Sammy beating uh, Roman Reigns. And then you know what? Roman can come back on Monday, be like, look, uh, something, 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 yada, 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 gets his title back. Or you know what? He only he beats him for one title. SummerSlam. Yeah, he only beats him for one title. But Sammy's big picture, he's not meant to carry a title. He's always meant to chase. Even if he doesn't beat Roman, the fact that he gets the main event with Roman would be fantastic, right? I mean, because they will, then, they yes. Will be, they will be great in the ring. Keep in mind. And then on top of yes. that, he will have, you. we will actually see again and finally, again, Roman Reigns being a powerhouse that, like he is, especially against Sam. Yeah, but for, very true. But, but the, the thing is, like, I compare him more than Daniel Bryan. I compare him more to Mankind. When Mankind yeah. actually yeah. won the title. It wasn't a big run or anything like that. He wasn't the guy to carry the company. But then again, guess what Mankind did? He turned the tide and he killed WCW yep. with but that one move. My argument here, so, too, would be like Cody winning. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we get Cody. He signed this huge contract. That's, uh, he's meant to problem, be the... Like he's he's meant win. to be the... <laughs> like, no, but like that's the thing. Like He's the... He's the hand-picked guy. He's Roman now, right? And don't get me wrong. That match, that match we got between him and Seth, best match where he tore his peck. I mean, yes, but we've seen crowds turn on wrestlers for less. Okay, well, right well, now, yeah, well, I don't... That's, I don't, that's down to happen because I think at the end of the day that they're just going to turn Cody Rhodes into a heel, bro. He's a, he's a... Technically, he should be a heel. He should be, but you no. Know, I mean, you're, we got we got Roman. Fu- like fucking Vince we McMahon was like, you know what? We, we just need to make him a baby face. I see the story of of you know of uh, Cody dad, getting Roman. yeah getting because the title dad, this and that, but like we're gonna build that up in two months. We have to build that in yeah. two months, and that's disregarding the fact that we still have elimination chamber and like what's the point of elimination chamber? I think once again, there's only two winners. It's either going to be Cody or it's going to be Sammy. Now, if Sammy doesn't show up in the Rumble, will I look like an idiot? Yeah, but I can live with that because the the that's going to be the moment that's going to determine everything. The fans are either going to turn on Cody for winning and not giving to Sammy Zayn, or it's going to give us the continuation of the greatest story of this generation, Sammy Zayn being kicked out of the bloodline, winning the Rumble, and then headlining Mania. But how are we going to know that he's getting kicked out? We don't know. Maybe he went and then this causes more issues within the bloodline. Yeah. Right? Like, but either way, we still get a great story, right? We we don't want to just end this story and just be like, oh, okay, well. Okay, so I think the majority of people would assume and believe that KO and Sami Zayn are gonna go for the tag team titles. Right? Which is also a great story because he turns his back on Jay. Yeah. But I think the better story here is him versus Roman, personally. It gives us more... But why? Um, why what? Why is that a better story than the tag, than, than Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn? Well, because it's an underdog. It's the greatest underdog story that we could get at this point. Um, he already is not trusted by Roman, right? The he, only, the only every, problem that I see with that is the fact that Sami Zayn is looking for Roman Reigns' approval. And what better way? Maybe or, not or, anymore. Well, this also leads up to like my prediction at the main event or the title match where Roman's like, I didn't need your bitch ass to help. And then he kicks his ass out or he's just like, oh, OK, well, you need to go show me. Go win this so I can just breeze through mania like I don't have to do shit. Right. I mean, I don't know, dude. I just okay. think Sammy should win and he shouldn't. Need, he doesn't even have to win at mania. Right, not everyone who wins the rumble needs to win the well, main yeah, event. Yeah, yeah, because they they lost. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So like, we could Who's still get a two night, two title defense. You know, maybe at that point they're like, okay, Universal WWE title, we'll get there separately. Uh, what the Elimination Chamber could be number one contender for the WWE title, and then Cody gets that one. So, exactly. look, I just think the better story would be the fact that we get Sami Zayn. Cody could win the number one contender at Elimination Chamber, and then we can get him winning the first night. Roman can retain the Universal title versus Sammy the, the second night. I just think Sammy winning would be the better Raw story. The pop. The yes. The pop would just be incredible. Correct. It would just be 
almost Daniel Bryan level. Not to that level, but almost Daniel Bryan level. Cody winning. There's no other yeah. story right now that they have that's as big as that. 50-50 shot that Cody wins in the in the crowd booths. Six months ago, Cody would have been that bomb. Yes, correct. Now, eh. Sammy time, split the, into his into his. Yes, spot. the crowd could turn on Cody, and then we're like, "Well, fuck! Like, this is not how it should have gone down. the yeah. The fans shouldn't be turning on Cody, but look, we've got him package after package, week after week about Cody. Well, you could make the argument that some fans are like, "Look, man, I'm fucking okay. Like, if he was He's a surprise, <laughs> yeah, if he was a surprise, then I'd be like, okay, cool, yeah, he wins. Yeah, he wins sure. here. But we're getting it. I don't know, man. Look, I'm just excited for the Rumble, guys." I'm excited. Should be fun. So, so JJ, you think Cody's gonna win? No, I don't think neither of them are gonna win. So, who, who do you think wins? Win? We'll find out on Saturday. No, 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 no. This is a prediction show. <laughs> you got to tell to us. To be hundred percent honest with you, I still am a firm believer that The Rock is gonna come back and win. That could possibly okay, be it. Yeah, that would be the so only that's other why thing. that's why I don't yeah. I like yes all your beautiful storylines of Sami Zayn getting the one moment and things like that yeah that sounds great but to be honest with you it, it, in the long run like we what everybody has been wanting to see is not Roman versus Sami.